Yes, I think the fight between uh, global challenges, as we call it, the emerging market-based, fast-growing companies versus the incumbents or multinational companies, is a phenomenon which we have been observing for almost a decade now. And what is amazing is that we have like 1,700 companies, more than 1,700 companies in emerging markets that have more than $1 billion revenue. And this staggering number shows that there are more and more companies from Asia, from South America, from the Middle East, from Africa, pushing into the traditional sectors of North American, European or Japanese incumbents. The competitive landscape is getting, is converging. It's not yet similar. I think we still have on one side the MNCs with a strong technology agenda, with an innovation drive, with an approach to mature clients, which the emerging market players do not have to this extent. However, I think the challenges going forward are similar for both because it's the challenges related to globalization. First and foremost, it's the question about to which extent do I globalize my value chain? Is it a globalization where I just look at sales or at production or at research and development? And our point of view is that those companies who rigorously globalize their value chain across various regions are more successful than those who just move around bits and pieces of their operations. It's really important to understand who are the players in the market on the incumbent and on the emerging market way and also how to understand their dynamic. The second is then really to think through a strategic step-by-step -step analysis and as I said at the beginning of our discussion along the value chain starting with which type of product do I want to have in which market? Do I need to go for premium or for mid-market? Second, where do I want to have my factories? Do I need to go for a global network of many factories or very few factories? And third, what is my go-to-market approach? What is my go-to-market model? Do I go directly? Do I go via representatives? That's the kind of approach we need to think about. When it comes to the enabling elements like HR, like organization, um, like also mergers and acquisition, I think BCG brings to bear a full set of expertise that allows you to know where do I get the right talent from, how do I develop it, how do I set up a global organization that is agile and at the same time well structured, and also in terms of M&A, if you go into global corporations, even between emerging market players and mature market players, how can we structure such a cooperation in a mutually beneficial way.